What up, fam? It's your boy, G. Ridge. I'm back. Yeah, sir. Listen, fam, today, look at that, look at that. I have like 13 pounds of beef right here. Oxtails and beef short rib mixed together. These are the beef short ribs if you've never seen them. And no, I do not cut the fat and trim no fat off of that. Look at these oxtails, fam. Yeah, sir. We're going in. We got big ones. We got mid-sized ones. And where's the small ones? We got some small ones right here. Yeah, sir. These are the beef short ribs. I tell you, I tell you, I had three packs of uh, beef short ribs and three packs of oxtails all up in here fam that's what you can alternate as well as uh, the beef neck bones like i did before okay now i'm gonna do the beef short rib yes sir look at that that's a ton of goodness i'm cooking so much because of, um a lot of the kids and their families are not uh, going to cook today so they want to come by and get a plate okay and you know i love to cook and share that's yes, sir other than eat <laughs> you already know but anyway, fam, you all seen me do an oxtail before, and since I'm going to mix them together, I'm going to cook them the same way, okay? There's the meat tenderizer. First, I'm going to sprinkle some meat tenderizer on it, and then I'm going to let it for sit like 30 minutes. Then I'm going to come back and season them with this. All right, we got some a Caribbean oxtail season I'm going to use today. Some stew beef season. Yes, sir. Hold on one second. We also gonna put some onion powder, garlic powder, some of that brown gravy in there, yes sir. Let me turn this around. Some seasoning salt and some coarse black pepper. I like to use the coarse black pepper on my ox tail. Yes sir, it's going down. There's the bell peppers, the uh, red, green, and yeah, orange bell peppers, and I have some onions. This is the big pot I'm gonna cook them in. That's vegetable oil in the bottom of the pot, okay? It's going down today, fam. We're going to make it about these oxtails and beef short ribs. Stick with your boy. I'm back. I'm feeling great. And look, you want a plate? I'll think about it. You know you're welcome. <laughs> so hold on tight. I'll be right back. Let's get started. All right, fam. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle some meat tenderizer on here. And we're going to let it sit for 30 minutes. After we come back, we're going to finish seasoning it up, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let this cook for like, I'm gonna boil it on the stove for like one hour. One hour. Then we're gonna take it off the stove and we're gonna pop it into the oven for another two and a half hours at 300 degrees. Two and a half hours at 300 degrees. And by the end, they should be fork tender falling off the bone. Stick with your boy, okay? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one half a cup of the brown gravy seasoning. One half a cup. Followed by one and a half tablespoons of the coarse black pepper. Okay, we're going to sprinkle it on there real good. All right, moving right along. We have one tablespoon of the seasoned salt. Okay, so that's all you need for that amount, 13 pounds of beef, because you're gonna add four, I mean, you're gonna add one fourth of a cup of the uh, stew beef seasoning, and that has a, enough salt in it, trust me, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna go with one half cup of some garlic powder. Yes, sir, followed by, should be one fourth of a cup of onion powder. Yep. Okay. Sticking and moving. Yes, sir. Now we're going to go ahead and put one tablespoon of the Caribbean um, oxtail season. It's a little spicy, so you don't need too much of it. That's why I don't want too much, but it's a nice flavor to it. One tablespoon of the Caribbean oxtail season. All right. So now we're going with one fourth of a cup of the stew beef seasoning. I like to put that in my oxtails also, okay? One fourth of a cup. Let's do it. Y'all know what comes next. We're gonna let this sucker drain down to the bottom and we're gonna season this. We're gonna mix it up and season it together, okay? Like I said, we're gonna cook it on the stove for one hour. 
on the stove for one hour. Later on, we're gonna add some carrots. Right before we put it in the oven, we're gonna add some carrots. And um, before we start to boil it, we're gonna add like some chicken broth. You can use chicken broth or beef broth, whatever you like, mixed with some water, okay? This thing gonna be right, fam. Stick with your boy. All right, so we're getting ready to, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sear uh, sear the meat, okay? We're gonna sear it for um, like, you know, like we're just gonna brown it on each side, you know, like two or three minutes on each side. We're not gonna cook it that long. Make sure we get a good crust on it and then we're gonna take it out so on and so forth, all right? We don't need to do all that because it's gonna, it's gonna boil in the pot for an hour together. Then it's gonna go in the oven for an additional two and a half hours, okay? See, that's all you want to do. Get it good and crisp and brown on each side. Because we're going to cook it all together. We're going to cook it the rest of the way together. Okay? That's all you want to do. Sit it to the side and we're going to sew on and so forth. All you're trying to do is sear both sides. All sides, matter of fact. <laughs> Ooh, we. Man, I tell you, it's the same as you. Yeah, I got burnt on fleet. I over reliable. Take a little space. Yes, sir. stuff at the bottom. Ooh, we fam. Look at that, look at that. Mountains of goodness. That's all you want to do is sear everything real good. You're not trying to cook it halfway, three fourths away. You can do how you want to do it. I'm just searing it, brown it. That's supposed to be done. To each his own, but that's how we like to do it. Sear it. Okay. Got all that mountain of goodness. You see all that goodness left down in there? You don't throw that out. Need that all in there. I'm going to agitate that a little bit. Lay enough of goodness down up in there, family. Mm hmm. All going to go together. Okay, I like to throw a little onions down there at the bottom. A little bit, I have to mix it up a little bit. I like to put that at the bottom. Yeah. Enough of goodness down there. <laughs> Alright. See that? Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put them back in here. After scraping the bottom of the pot. Okay. Gotta put some of these big pieces down there. Oxtail, okay? Or any kind of beef that you're gonna eat. Look at that, stank and tank. We got a pot full of goodness. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'm trying to feed the army. Actually, I am. <laughs> oh man, look at that. 
I ain't playing with y'all today, family. That's how you can stretch your oxtail, by adding beef short ribs or beef neck bones. So, here we go. Make sure we got it on medium. We got it on medium, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna fold, sometimes you can use chicken broth or beef broth. I'm gonna use chicken broth today, okay? I'm gonna pour it down in there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use water too. I like to use both. Ooh, wee. Use this whole bottle for that. And then I can use the water the rest of the way. You can do however you want to do. You know how to season, it's gonna come out right. Okay? Now we're going in with the water. Make sure you add more, especially the pot this size. But don't worry, it's gonna cook down. Already changing the color of the water. Look at that, huh? I'm gonna add just a little bit more so I'm satisfied. And we're gonna let this sucker cook on medium for about two and a half to three hours. Okay, here we go. Alright, so now I'm gonna add all the uh, bell peppers and onions and on onions on top. I don't know how I like to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the thing of beauty. Yes, sir. <laughs> you see that there? That's how you want to cook it on medium. And it's going to develop the gravy and everything. It's going to cook all the way down. You'll see. All right, fam. See, we're just going to turn it off. Look at that, that looks good on it. Now we're gonna add the carrots in there. I already skinned the carrots, cut them up. We're gonna put them in there and then we're just gonna pop this thing in the oven for two and a half hours on 300 degrees. I'm just gonna slide it in there right now. It ain't hit 300 degrees yet. It don't even matter, we're going in. Okay, fam, and there it is. OMG. Uh huh. Only until now do you understand. Look at that. Look at that. That's a close up there. That's oxtails and beef short ribs mixed together. Look at the bone just sitting there. Don't, something, something, something don't came apart. Look at that. Something don't came apart, family. Okay, we're going to test this thing out in a minute. Oh, my word. My word. My word. Okay, check this out. Okay, so we're going to do a. Let's grab an oxtail. All right, they got one right there. We just gonna pick this one up there. Let's see. Slide, turn. <laughs> oh my word! Let's put that back in there. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna mess with it. Okay, so that's a um, a oxtail. Now let's see about the uh, uh, uh beef short rib. They should be even ten. Let's see. There's one right there. Ah, look at that beef short rib, mama. There goes that man. After two and a half hours in the oven at 300 degrees, okay? I boiled them for one hour first. Then I popped them in the oven for another two and a half hours at 300 degrees. They falling off the bone. If you want it just like this here, stick with your boy, okay? Now here's my finished plate. And bam, mama, there goes that man. Look at that family. Look at that. We're going in for a closer look. Look at the man. My mouth what look family. I ain't playing with y'all, man. We're going in. Look at that. Everything looks good, good and delicious. As you can see, it look good and sticky how, how oxtail supposed to be. Yes, sir. The beef short ribs look just like this look the same. Look at that fam. Mm, mm, mm. Everything done through and through. Stick with your boy. It's another one. I love y'all in life. Get rich out. Get full off of this one. In your mind.